out to uh, Brandy Williams. She's on the patio this morning. Hey, Brandy. Hey, guys. Really cool thing happening on November 15th. The Baja 1000 is taking place. Christian Gustafson, he's the co-founder of Below the Surface, is here to tell us what the driving innovations team is bringing to the table and what is happening at the Baja 1000. Good morning to you. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having me. Give us all the details, how we can come down, if we got some brave guys that want to participate. Just tell us all about that. So the, the race is wide open. It's going to run from Ensenada to La Paz. Uh, you don't need tickets. Just come down and show up. There's going to be about 300,000 other people there, about 300 to 400 other race teams, motorcycles, pro, uh, pro trucks, the like. And we're coming down there to demonstrate some new technology. Wow, 300,000 people. So how do they accommodate that many people? It's it's just wide open. And that's one of the greatest things about Baja is that it, it is wide open, just like the opportunities and the, and the adventure. And what can we expect? Um, you can expect to see uh, a lot of carnage, a lot of fun. Um, it's it's going to be um, the 45th anniversary of the race, so it'll it'll be running. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, something's distracting me. What is this over here? Uh, the guy just uh, rolled up <laughs> in our, our stealth hydrogen-powered uh, 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 buggy. Well, wow, rolling in and rolling back, and uh, let me come over here and say hello to this gentleman riding shotgun, uh, Congressman Bill Bray. Hello to you. How you doing? We're showing what uh, renewable and alternative fuel capabilities are, and not just for uh, the future, not just for the military, but actually for the Baja races. So it's a great way to highlight the fact that we're providing alternatives to traditional fuels. Now, renewable fuel is something that these guys are bringing to the table, something that they're introducing at the race. Your connection is you're one of the top 10 leaders in the country for renewable fuel. Tell me about your interest and in how you got involved. Well, actually, our scientists here in San Diego are not only creating job opportunities, they're actually developing uh, alternative energies using biotech, using high tech, and it's really exciting. And it's something that's not just um, for the environment. National defense needs us to be able to have alternative fuels in case the traditional fuels are cut off. And so this is really a backup for our military and our national defense capabilities. So it's uh, great science, it's great jobs, and it's uh, great for the environment, and it's good for the military and our national defense. Well, it's great that you came to be a part of this this morning. We're so glad to have you with us. Let me come over here to you, Jason. He is the uh, CEO of Maddox Defense. Now tell, tell me a little bit more about the renewable fuel and your specific ties to the military. Sure, uh, I'm Jason Maddox with Maddox Defense, and what we do is we look at innovative technologies locally here at home in San Diego, and uh, we present them into a military fashion, to military vehicles, and uh, fuels, renewable fuels here at home that could be produced here at home, so we're not reliant on foreign sources of fuel. Now, we were talking some numbers earlier, and it's pretty astonishing how many miles you can get on this type of fuel. Just give us some of those numbers. Sure. So our algae fuel motorcycle gets about 110 miles to the gallon, uh, which is about 500, 600 uh, miles on one tank of fuel. And this vehicle here is a hydrogen fuel system that we're going to be able to make available to any car. Uh, and it is allows 20% better fuel economy and 65% reduction in carbon emissions. Wow, that's fantastic. Congressman, I'm going to ask you this question. Not sure if you know the answer or not, but why isn't something like this on the market already? Well, basically, you need the fuel systems, but we need to get the regulatory agencies to allow these things to go into production faster. Everybody's got to work together, and that means we've got to get the investment, but we also got to get government working with the private sector to create these great options, and so the consumer can actually have a choice between traditional fuels and new innovative ones, and that's what we got to do. Everybody's got to get working together to make this possible. This could really come in handy with gas prices being so high these days. When do you think we could see something like this be available for just your everyday vehicle? Well, I'll tell you, in the 90s, I drove a natural gas car. So you have natural gas technology available, the algae production, the hydrogen production. All of these are things that everybody has to do their part. And I think the biggest issue is instead of people attacking each other saying, oh, no, my proposal is the only one, we need everybody sort of working together on this to be able to everybody do their part. A little bit adds up to a, a real great comprehensive approach to our energy crisis. I keep hearing the words algae production over and over again. Can you tell me exactly what that is? I think algae, I think the ocean. Any connection? Uh, yeah, and one of our mottos is our oceans can save our lands. So uh, with algae production, we're not having to drill for oil or anything else. We can make it in the source, in the desert, in the ocean, uh, anywhere. It's really cool stuff. Come with me over here because we have to say hi to Kenny Dugdale. If I can reach around here with my cable. Can we reach? Can we reach? We got to talk to you because you're participating in the race. What do you do to prepare for something like this? Um, it's more of a mental challenge. <laughs> so it's you basically have to overthink everything because if you uh, don't think about it, then you can just basically do it.
is the course like? So it's 1117 miles this year. I mean, how do you stay energized for a race that long? Um, finishing, <laughs> basically. Um, the main part is trying, we're trying to get the bike across, and it's a, it's a real rocky, like kind of sandy terrain, and the thing will just go straight through it. So Will this renewable fuel help you to go faster? Um, not faster, but longer. Like we don't have to fill up as much. So like on a regular dirt bike, you're gonna have to fill up more often than the diesel bike. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much. Baja 1000 is happening on November 15th. 300,000 people are expected to be down there. You can be one of those people too. It is on the uh, Baja California Peninsula. So head on down November 15th. Thank you guys so much. Back to you, Alexis and David.